Can I read the next one? Yeah, sure. I'll, 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 oh, hold on. Hold next on. One, I'll, but uh, I'll wait. I'll wait for my turn. I'll have Logan have a turn, and then I, I want to have a turn next. Well, the uh, way I was thinking of we can try well, the, out. Well the, re well, the way I was thinking of doing this, like, the order who people introduce themselves should be taking their turns. So, Huey was the first to introduce himself, so he'll go next. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I, I can't. That's what I was trying to ca catch up, and I caught it a little bit late there, so that makes sense here. Okay. Um. Anyway, uh, I have a story of mine. It's on fanfiction.net. But I'm feeling that maybe I, it's really short. I never finished it. It's just one chapter. Um, I'm not going to give you a link to it. I'm going to read it, okay? I'm yeah, not I, I, feel it. Like, I feel like it's better that people don't really share links or anything else to fanfics See. because it, it spoils the surprise, if you ask me. Okay. Anyway, uh, there is one fanfic I want to do later, but with a lot of other people. But for now, I'm just going to read this one. Uh, this is a story I wrote a long time back in 2006, and like I said, I never finished it. Hmm? Okay, the story is called Simply Man. <laughs> okay, ready, guys? Affirmative. Get it. Okay. okay. Mark Douglas had been lost in the woods for over a month now. He was a first-time hunter with a small rifle in his hand. He had also brought along his point pet pointer, Annabelle. He had a rule for his hunting. Shoot only once. If he didn't get anything, he would wait till the next day. A month ago, his car had broken down in the middle of the woods. Mark could have walked to the road the next day, but winter had started and snow had covered the landscape. With that, Mark had to fend for himself and Annabelle by hunting small game like ducks and fish. But harsh blizzards soon made game scarce, and the snow would cover up his tracks. He and Annabelle survived by living off the food they had hunted before the winter became unbearable. Soon they had run out of rations and were starving to death. They had to eat. They had to eat something or freeze. One day, Mark had woken, woken up from a deep sleep in the cold. There was no storm, but he felt numbness in his face, his feet, and fingertips. Annabelle quietly yipped at something out in the meadow. Mark felt curious and got up, still humping himself to see the map. And there it was. Out in the meadow were two white-tailed deer, a fawn and a doe, eating at a patch of unfrozen grass. Mark finally saw his chance at getting food. Though weak, starving, and sick-looking, Mark picked up his rifle and tiptoed out towards the meadow. Slowly, he raised the rifle in his trembling hands and tried to aim at the unsuspecting deer. Just then, the doe raised her head, looked around, and then started to run off, the fawn following it. In a quick attempt, Mark fired his rifle, but missed as the bullet bounced off a rock. But Mark was too determined to follow his hunting rule and ran after the two deer. He ran after them for a good five minutes, and suddenly collapsed onto the ground. He looked up at the two deer and saw that they weren't that far away. Still determined, he raised his rifle again and fired. Quickly, he saw the doe fall to the ground with a thud. Weak from hunger, Mark crawled over the, the body of the dead doe and tried to lift it up. Instead, he dragged it back by its hind legs to his small camp in the brush. Once there, he, he started to prepare a fire, not just to warm himself and his dog, but also cook the deer. Later that night, after eating the dough with his dog, Mark fell asleep in the cold snow. Later, a small sound woke him out of his deep slumber. It sounded like a small child crying for help. The voice kept saying, Mother! Mother, where are you? Mark had the thought that someone must have been lost in the woods as well. There might have even been a camp somewhere that could help him out. Quickly, he got up and ran out into the meadow. Hello? He cried as he ran through the woods. Is anyone out here? I need help. He then reached the meadow, and to his surprise, he didn't see a boy. He saw the fawn. It was the one crying out for his mother. Mark was too horrified to wonder why a deer was talking. He was talking about the fawn's mother. It was the doe he had killed earlier and eaten with his dog. He felt as though he had killed a human and had turned a small child into an orphan. 
A tear ran down his cheek as he collapsed onto his knees. What have I done, he thought. Suddenly, a deep-sounding voice from out said from out of the darkness, You have killed an innocent child's mother. Mark turned around to see a tall, majestic stag with a muscular neck and large, pointed antlers. Mark stood there motionless in front of the stag. I was starving. I didn't mean for it to happen, he said. I was just so hungry and cold. What will I do? That is for you to decide, said the stag, not I. Mark nodded and got up onto his feet. He slowly walked out further onto the meadow and spied the fawn still looking around. He then stood in front of it as it looked up at him in awe. Mark breathed in with all his courage and said, I'm afraid your mother can't be with you anymore. He watched as the fawn lowered his head and shed a tear. Come with me. Mark started to walk away back to the camp with the fawn slowly behind him. He stopped, turned around, and started to follow again. And that's the chapter. Oh. Oh. Yeah. My God. That's really touching. So, yeah, that's really that's well written. That's good. No, I did not. Um, this was basically my attempt at a Bambi fan fiction, but to be honest, I'm kind of glad I didn't finish it because it is kind of silly. Silly? I mean, if anything, it's really well Dude. written and pretty damn dark. I wasn't expecting Bambi to come into the picture. Yeah. Well, if I had go back, I I would have fixed it a bit. Like, maybe, you know, flesh out the hunter more. You know, like, maybe not like, oh, he had a car broken down or something. Uh, you know what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. It was basically a, it was basically my sort of rewrite of Bambi with the hunter raising Bambi instead of the great prince of the forest. Well, it's certainly an interesting concept and one that you really put some great detail into. I was hoping you guys would laugh at it, to be honest. Why would I want? Why would I want to laugh at something like that? It's good. I'm on edge. So, oh, any that great here? Why would it, why would you think anybody would laugh at you for that? I mean, it, it, it's old, and to be honest, there are a lot of misspellings and plot holes. I, we I, don't know that. Yeah, yeah, none of us do. If I. Yeah. Well, I swear, either. One day I am going to go back and hopefully rewrite this chapter and finish the story. 